my channel. So today's video is going to be a Bath & Body Works candle unboxing. I haven't done one of these for quite some time. I have been trying to know really slow down my candle buying but obviously Christmas came around and there was a lot of Christmas scents that I liked and um, a lot that I wanted to gift this year for Christmas as well. So we have quite a few candles. I did buy these I think when it was like buy two get two free. Um, so I only ever buy candles when there is an offer on. Um, I purchased all these through Bath & Body Works to my Stackery address. Um, I've talked about Stackery before. I will leave a link and my code for it down below where you can get $10 free on your first, you know, order through Stackery. Um, basically they give you like a locker number and you use the address they give you to get anything from America, put in your locker and then they ship it onto you. Really great way of doing it um, if you want to get some things from America. So also I want to mention Bath & Body Works, yes, is coming to the UK. Um, in fact, it already is in the UK. It is being stocked by Next. Um, so some of the bigger um, department store Next that they've created have pop-up Bath & Body Works stores in them, which is super cool. Um, and they also are stocking a small range online as well. Um, for online, you kind of have to be there sort of in the moment and they don't really offer the offers that they do in store at the moment as well. Um, some things are sort of last season, um, some things this season, especially the candles just sort of trickle on so you just have to keep an eye out for them. Um, but yes, let's show you what I got. So the first candle we have here is Winter Candy Apple. Um, I'm not quite sure what the decoration, like, um, like what collection they're from, uh, but this is what it looks like. I love Winter Candy Apple and I don't have any in my collection currently, um, so I knew I wanted to get this. It's candied apples, crisp pears, oranges. It just has a really, really nice crisp apple scent, almost like an apple -y drink. Um, it's very comparable to um, the crisp apples that I think has just come out. Um, and also, you know, the Farmstone Apple fresh market apple that side of really like crisp clean um really juicy apple scent i really like that next we have cookies with santa so this is a, a new scent for me so i'm interested to smell it it says fresh cinnamon brown sugar and a drop of vanilla this is what it looks like very very christmasy wintery i really like the label on this one to me I know I've not burnt this yet, these obviously first impression on cold scents. It just smells like a typical vanilla cookie scent that you can get in a candle, like something from Yankee Candle. On cold, it's nothing that I've had before from Body Works, but it's nothing special. That may change when it's being lit and burnt but not an immediate, I need to get more of that, if you know what I mean. So then we have vanilla and peach tea. So this is one I've had before, and my thoughts on this have actually changed quite a bit. At first I thought it was a really weak scent, um, but I actually really like it. I would say it is on the weaker side if you have a really, really big open plan downstairs living room area, but for us when we're mostly just using the candles when we're in the lounge, which is, you know, a small medium size, um, it's actually really nice light throw to it and we've been burning the ones we've got a lot lately um, So I picked up another one. This is obviously in like one of the new Christmassy packagings um, That is what it looks like really nice for a very simple package uh, Peach tea sweet vanilla cream fresh oat milk. It's just a really nice light peach scent It's not sickly sweet you get the vanilla come in and I just think it's when you want to just light a candle that's light and not going to give you a headache this is one that I often reach for. So next we have champagne toast and this has come out in a few different packagings this year. Um, this is one of you know the top tier candles I'd say as far as like popularity and gifting goes. Um, bubbly champagne, sparkling berries and juicy tangerine. I think I have another one of these rolling around somewhere. This packaging super cute. It's got a little polar bear on it um, and it's like this light pink wax. So this is just a really nice fruity, 
crisp, fresh, juicy scent. Um, it's like an alcoholic beverage. This is my favourite one to gift, um, especially for the ladies in your life. And yeah, I really like this scent. A another new scent here. This is Bright Christmas Morning. Again, another one I was very excited to try. Um, again, a really nice um, packaging around it. Um, and this is a gorgeous uh, lid. I don't know if you can tell it's got little reindeers on it. Going to be a bit harder to stack things on them, but you know. Uh, this says ripe red berries, blood orange and crisp apple. So I'm thinking again along the lines of um, the champagne toast. Like that really like drink, think maybe a mimosa on Christmas morning. Bucks fizz if you're British. And yeah, that is totally what I get from this. A really fruity orangey berry scent it'd say it's less perfumey than champagne toast i love this it's such a shame that it's like cool bright christmas morning because i would totally I think burn this all year round so i might have to get a couple of these or for next year yeah that is so so good um i don't know if it's comparable to um some other of the fruity drink scents because obviously i don't have them here to compare to like the raspberry mimosa and all those sort of berry-esque drink flavours. So this is a scent that I've tried before. This is hot cocoa and cream. Again, it's got that really cute label on the front with the just plain colour wick. On smelling it cold, it can almost be like a fake chocolate scent. Um, but when you burn it, it becomes just like a really nice, creamy, light sort of sweet chocolate scent um it says decadent milk chocolate fresh steamed milk and mini marshmallows yeah, you may be put off if you just smell it cold because it can t smell a bit like fake chocolate but i really quite like it as a scent once it's burning so we have a another champagne toast i'm gonna well actually let's make sure it's not broken so on the whole i've had really good um you know transportation with stackery um i didn't pay for any extra bubble wrap and they have put a little bit of bubble wrap in all i said was can we keep the original boxes um so it just keeps them all nice and it's easier for them to package um but yeah that's all good um another champagne toast so this is one that i was just buying another one of um because i love this scent and this is what i was mentioning earlier the honey crisp apple there seemed to be like a little bit of glue on the top um and this is what it looks like just really nice quite plain nice to have out all year round probably it is just a really nice fresh crisp apple scent um golden honey crisp apple blossom and fresh sugar cane i just get a crisp apple really sweet and juicy i love this again a nice light scent um that i find doesn't give me a headache the next one is sweet kettle corn so this was one that is a risk i think there's always a risky one throughout when i order um i try to make less <laughs> risky options now but um this is what it looks like very autumnal very yellow um it says freshly popped kettle corn creamy caramel with sprinkled with sugar and sea salt it's got a yellow wax and a really pretty lid on the top as well interesting is not anything that i've smelt before it's a lot lighter i was expecting a really heavy scent and it's not it's really quite light you get almost like a, a creamy it is creamy caramel but like a vanilla caramel it'll be interesting to see how this one burns um but yeah i almost get a slight citrus aspect to it like a bergamot aspect there's something in it that's lifting it so it's not like a heavy buttery scent interesting i'm quite pleasantly surprised by that one actually the next one is the one that darren asked me to pick out and this is cinnamon sugared pecans so let's see what we think of this one he likes the foody heavy cinnamony scents um this is what this looks like i think it's really cute just for the packaging with the little gingerbread on it um cinnamon sugar warm roasted pecans and brown sugar you may be able to hear um the wax has come loose from the glue there's nothing wrong with the candle it's just where they get hot and cold in transit if anything it makes them easier if you a want to put them into another jar or like if you 
want to use the jar afterwards. Now, this is definitely not my scent. This might be one that Darren likes. I really don't like heavy cinnamon. And that is the main note in this. And this one has the slightly um, shorter lid, which is odd. Um, yeah, I'm just getting real cinnamon sugar and I can't really smell anything else past that. So I'll let him smell it, see what he thinks of it. It's not my thing. I don't know, even sometimes cinnamon can make me feel a bit sick. So we'll have to see what, <laughs> what we decide on that one. The final one, again, was kind of a risk. This is spiced gingerbread. So again it's got the cinnamon in it i can like tolerate some cinnamon as long as it's not the primary note in a candle so we are 12 for 12 on no breakages which is fabulous three six nine ten eleven did i only get eleven could have sworn that i got 12 candles for the promotion because it was buy two get two so i'm gonna have to check back my order because something's gone awry and <laughs> see if it was me or not um but anyway this is what it looks like for spiced gingerbread really really cute and festive uh vanilla icing cinnamon sugar and fresh ground nutmeg again this is mm, i'm slightly disappointed in this because i'm not getting ginger i'm just getting cinnamon i'd say this is definitely sweeter than um the where is it the cinnamon sugared pecans um it's definitely lighter i think i can probably tolerate this more than i could this one so i'll let darren decide what he wants to do with these um whether he likes the scent and would like to burn them um but yeah those are kind of my least favorites out of them all um but only because i personally don't like cinnamon I think I remember what happened. I think I put my order through and then one of the candles got cancelled out of the order. I'm going to have to get on to Bath & Body Works because obviously I still should be entitled to one free extra candle. Um, so I'm going to have to find that and see what they say. They can be, Bath & Body Works, as amazing as their customer service is, it can be a bit funny when it comes to using a third party. Um, they say once it goes to like Stackery, for instance, then it's out of their hands. So the one candle that got cancelled out of my order was a white caramel cold brew candle. Um, and yeah i already have that it was just going to be another backup it's a really nice like creamy caramelly coffee scent um but yeah that was cancelled off so i just want to clarify with them whether the cost was for the rest of the candles was like reduced to compensate or if i should still be entitled to an extra free candle i in to say i did contact bath and body works and they were actually really helpful even though my order was you know delivered about a month ago they checked my order and said yes I was still entitled to a free candle so they let me pick one and they put the order through for me I didn't have to pay shipping or anything so yeah that was really good of them I'm gonna deal with that but this is my little Christmas candle unboxing um some really nice fruity scents in there and um some really nice just like cozy scents as well so yeah though I thought I would also just tag on at the end of this video I have ordered three candles from next um and two of them had just arrived the third one is delayed and um they have both come broken um they're in the same sort of boxes that they get but obviously next deliver through Hermes and who knows what goes on with all of that and um, they literally just came in a bag I don't know if you can hear the, the sounds of glass shards all around that but yeah, needless to say I'm waiting on the chat app at the moment to figure out what to do about those um, I got I think a caramel drizzle one which is no longer on the website and a Paris cafe one which smells amazing um, so um, yeah that's kind of a bummer so just be warned if you are buying from next um, I think some people have had theirs come in boxes but obviously mine haven't um and yeah so 
that's kind of a bummer to end the video on. If I get a reply, I'll let you know what they say. Me again. So I did get a reply from Next. Originally they wanted me to return them back in store for a refund and I just said, you know, not being funny, it is a sharps risk. And yeah, they just said, okay, dispose of the items. We'll give you a refund now. Um, as you can see from the picture, they were really, really broken. Um, I did manage to brush all the glass off and I will still keep the wax and use it, but it is a shame that it came all smashed. Let me know what candles uh, you will be burning this year around Christmas time. Like what's your favorite scents? Um, there probably will be a part two to this at some point because they have released a load more other different candle scents um so i might have to wait for candle day for those i'm very excited for candle day it's like my first time like properly doing candle day this year so so if you want to see more videos like this then make sure you subscribe like this video so i know if you want to see more and i'll see you in my next video bye guys